Hello. Today we're going to learn about Raz Kids. Raz Kids is a website program you can go to to practice reading even when you don't have a regular book to use. There are lots of stories in Raz Kids, and your teacher will pick up the perfect level for you so it's not too hard and it's not too easy. Okay, just right. So I've got my screen here, and I'm going to start by going through Google Chrome. It's this rainbow circle right here. See how I'm going around it with my arrow? That's called a cursor. When I click on it, it will open up a web browser. Um, Explorer doesn't often work very well for Raz Kids. So I would try to use Google Chrome, okay? Now you could either type Raz Kids into this bar here, or if you know, if I've been there before, so I go up into this search bar and I type in R, and there it shows up for me, Raz Kids. I click on that, and it will open this, okay? Now I wanna scroll down to here where it says RazKids.com, and I click on this. This should only happen the first time you go on. Once you get in there, it should save some of your preferences. Now I need to find this green rectangle where it says kids login. It's up here on the screen. See me circling it? And I'm gonna click that. Now I've already been in here, so my name is here. But if you got something like this, you need to type in your teacher's name, your teacher's username. Mine is Rosek, so I would Get in that bar there and type R-O-Z-E-K, okay? And your teacher would give you his or her username. Then over here, there's a box that says go. You're going to click on that. Then you'll find all the kids' names in your classroom. I'm going to come down to find Cooper, and Cooper is the green square. So I'm going to click on that, and it will open up a place where you have to pick your password. Now I know Cooper's password is banana, so I'm gonna click on the picture banana. Now you might have a picture password or your teacher could give you some numbers and letters, but in this case, Cooper's is banana. Yours may not be. So I click on that and then I come over here to this green box and it says go, so I click there to get started. Now I'm gonna come over and find this purple planet that says reading. This one over here says vocabulary, but we're gonna go practice our reading today. So you click there, and I wanna find this rocket that's taking off. This says reading room. I wanna go into the reading room so I can find some books to read, okay? Now, if you look in here, I see some things are already green. If they are green and they have a check mark through them, that means I've already completed them. But I come down further and it says, Oh, let's see, I think I wanna do I Can. This looks like a fun book, and I see I don't have any green marks there, so I haven't done it. So the first one you see is a head, those are headphones. The second one is a, is a book, and then you have a question mark. You want to listen to the story first. You click on that, and it will open it. I'm going to click listen right here, and it's going to tell me the story. This is the play button, so you want to click on that arrow. I can. I can. Written by Bill DiNardo. Illustrated by Nora Vudis. I can run. I can jump. I can ride. I can climb. You see how it's highlighting <laughs> the words as it says them? You want to look at those words. I can crawl. I can play. <laughs> And then the book is done. And it'll take you back. And see now this, the headphones for this book are now green with a check mark. It means I've done that. So now it wants me to read the selection on my own. So I click that box. And I go back here. And I remember it was called I Can. The title of the book is I Can. 
Title is another word for name. Then you come down here where it says next. I need to click this arrow to get to the next page. This is my title page, I can. What if I don't remember that word? If it's a word that I can find and highlight when I go hover over it and I click on it, I can go right here. This is like a little speaker and if I click that, can. It tells me the word was can, I can. Now I'm going back down here and clicking next. I can run. And I'm trying to point along with the words so I remember to look at the words and not just the picture, but the picture is very important. It helps me to figure out the words when I see what they're doing. I can jump. I can swing. Don't forget to click next. I can hop. I can ride. I can, do you remember what I do if I can't remember this word? I hover over it with my cursor there, that arrow, and when I click it, I go up to the speaker and click that. Climb. Climb, that's a hard word. So now I hit next. I can crawl. I can play. And I've gotten to the end, so I have to click done. Now I've got one thing left to do, the questions. Always do the questions after you read it because you won't get credit for the book until you've done them. And if you've read other books in between, you may not remember the story. So you wanna do it when it's fresh in your memory. So I'm gonna click the question mark. Now to take this, little, it's like a little fun quiz. If I don't know what this sentence says, I can put my cursor over and I can click on it. What is this book mostly about? What is this book mostly about? Now hover here and click so you can hear it. Don't click the A or the B, click the sentence, these words. Kids can run. Is the book mostly about kids running? You click the other one. Kids can do many things. I think it's about kids doing many things because they weren't all running, right? So if I'm happy with that, I come over and I click this one right here, B, because I think that's my answer. Now I have to go up and touch the number two to get to the second question. Now remember I hover over this and click it. What can be done inside a house? Done inside a house. Crawling. You could crawl in a house. Climbing a tree. Can you climb a tree in a house? I don't think so. So I think that I do remember a boy crawling in the book. So I'm gonna click this. Plus there weren't any trees inside a house in the book. That wouldn't make sense, would it? Now I go up and click number three. I'm gonna click on here so I can hear the sentence. What can be done using only your body and nothing else? Hopping and jumping. Can you hop and jump just with your body? I think I only use my body to hop and jump, but let me listen to the other one just to make sure. Swinging and riding. Swinging and riding. Can I swing with just my body? Probably not, I need a swing, right? And you need to ride something like a bike or a skateboard. So I don't think that one works. So I'm gonna to listen to this one. Hopping said, and jumping. I'm pretty sure that's it. So I'm gonna go over the A and click the A. Then I'm gonna click number four. How are running and jumping alike? Alike, that means the same. How are running and jumping the same? Alike. Uh, you need to use a helmet to do both. Do I need to use a helmet to run and jump? Let me see what the other one says. You use your legs to do both. You use your legs to do both. Do I use my legs to run? Yes. Do I use my legs to jump? Yes, I think that's the answer. That's how they are alike or the same. I'm gonna click B, then go to number five. Which word means the opposite of play? Opposite means not like at all, right? Hmm. The opposite of play. Hop. Hop, play. I don't think that's the opposite. Work. 
Oh, have you ever heard work first, then play? Because you get to play when your work is done. So it's kind of the opposite of playing, right? I think that's the opposite. And now I'm going to click done up here in this circle. You did it. Perfect. Oh, you we, got all the stars. We got them all right. So now I have to come down here and click this box. It says done. And now when I scroll down here, there's I can. I have a green check mark for listening, green for reading, and green for answering the questions. Now you could go on to the next book or find another book. Or if you're done for the day, see this red box right here? This says log out. You always want to click that when you're done so the next student doesn't end up reading books from your account, okay? And then you're here again and you're all set. I hope you've enjoyed learning about RAS Kids. We're going to be using it a lot. Thank you.